Got to see his go and away they go. Rocky Coast Fly jumped, lost two lengths, and Masala also slow into stride. Romanesca, the last trio. Letaba shot out from an outside gate. King's Cove, Sharp's Eagle. The Poet being restrained and passed by three or four runners. Prince Ardent, Whiskey Road, and also Gimme Peace. They go past the Poet, who races about six lengths off them. Purple and gold further back in the running as they race into the turn with just on about 1,100 metres left to negotiate. In front, Latarba and Whiskey Road cutting out the speed. These two have gone clear of Prince Ardent. The pace is genuine as they go into the turn towards the 900 metre marker. King's Cove and Sharp's Eagle. Then we drop back to Gimme Peace, and that race is seven lengths off them. The Poet has a shadow roll and improves a length to be about six and a half lengths off through the trees. Rocky Coast, Viking Red, Romanesca, Purple and Gold, Forceful Rush, and Marsala wags the tail, 14 lengths off them. Homeward bound, Whiskey Road at the top of the lane, 500 to go, Latoba. Gimme Peace starts to get a little bit closer. The Poet's going to come down the centre, King's Cove. The Poet moves up a big runner at the 300, King's Cove and Latoba. King's Cove on the grandstand side. The Poet and Lyle Hewitson, Rocky Coast on the inside. 200 to go, the Poet's about to put his head in front. King's Cove, Gimme Peace and Latoba. The Poet's got to last the last 100. Gimme Peace is coming home strongly on the inside. Gimme Peace and the Poet. Gimme Peace got up from the Poet, Viking Red and Latoba. So the last 100 metres and Gimme Peace number two, the Gimme the Green Light is coming home hard at the Poet and Gimme Peace and Keegan de Mello. The Poet game in defeat, he moved up, he was there a long way down the straight but will go to number two, Gimme Peace by about a long neck. The Poet second, Viking Red stays on third and the fourth spot goes to La Toba. Gimme pieces for Bryn Russell, Mark Shirtliff, and Ready to Strike's only coming past the post now, so we'll get confirmation. The Poet moved up to hit the front. This is for Trevor and Robin Denman. Eric Denman is on the course today, and the Poet in front, but here comes Gimme Peace. Five off the left-hand side, starts to eat into the lead. Latarba and Viking Red. In front, the Poet, but claimed by Gimme Peace the last 50 metres, and number two, Gimme Peace, goes on to beat the Poet in second. Back to the studio. Yeah, well done to the Canemaya stable with the double. Well done to Knut Hof, who has bred this individual. And Bryn Russell and Marsh Shirtliff had some uh, uh, time at uh, the Subaya sales to catch up with the boys from Cape Town. I'm sure they watched this win and uh, a smart move from Dean Canemayer for his owners here, bringing this horse down to KZN, placing him in the right field to win again. Firstly, well done with the double, Dean. Good double for the yard. Yeah, thanks, D7. It was very nice. Uh, good luck to the whole team. And um, yeah, to uh, Marsh Shirtliff and Bryn Russell and uh, Mark, racing manager for, for Bryn. Um, we discussed this horse. I said, you know, he won the man in his next race and Richard rode him. He ran a fair race. But what I find in Cape Town sometimes horses like this, they go a bit slow for him. And then they quicken up and he becomes a little flat-footed. Durban, they normally get a nice, genuine pace, which I think suited him as well, drawn. And uh, anyway, he, he, he arrived at Fitos and he drew well and, and uh, he's earned for them today, so that was nice. And um, I've just got to place him correctly. And I also feel that he's awesome. May stay on. You know, don't, you know, it's, you know when you, you know, really quite knows right distance but I, I honestly think that he'll stand on and I won't be afraid to do that as we go into this into the season that lies in the off season but well done to the whole, the whole team it was, it was a lovely day you, you become top class when you bring these horses yeah I say this because you know, not often do they need uh, you know one or two runs you know some of them do but this fellow in particular he didn't seem to need it to setting down in case it in yeah you know it's important they travel well and and, 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 he, and he's a, he's, a, he's quite a light train horse and it, um, you know, he just keeps himself fit, so we didn't do much with him by the time he arrived in, 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 uh, in today's race. So, uh, yeah, you know, and sometimes they can get lost first time on a right hand turn, especially at Scottsville, and, uh, but, but he seemed to have handled it well. Good double, Dean. Well done to your team, my man. Yeah, Dean, thank you very much. Thanks. Lovely. Dino Canamea, number two, give me peace. Well, Keegan, the first thing he told me when I said, look at how well the source looks, Keegan. I mean, it doesn't look like he's 
had a run, you said you could have cost yourself the race. Tell the public why. Yeah, look, um, the, the horse in front um, stopped quite quickly and um, I didn't judge my run quite well and uh, I, made my, I made a decision to go and in and uh, he drifted in with me. So I had to check off his heels a little bit, but uh, yeah, luckily I didn't break his momentum too much. Uh, I'm just really grateful to, to Mr. Kenneman and his team, Mr. Shirklift, and uh, for allowing Mr. Kenneman to bring this horse down because when I rode him in, in the Cape, I, I said he'll do well in Durban with the pace. You know, when I chat to punters on such a regular basis and I tell them how difficult this game is, how hard it is to have winners, especially as a jockey, because it's decision-making split seconds and if one thing goes your way or one thing goes against you, you know, it could turn the result in a matter of seconds. Yeah, within a, it almost cost me just... Um, just a lack of judgment, but uh, yeah, Mr. Kenneman, it's just really nice to ride for, for Mr. Kenneman, and he leaves it up to me, and if I do make a mistake, uh, I own up to it, and I'm just really grateful to him for, for the opportunities, and um, yeah, without him, it, it's not possible. Okay, you turn into the straight, Lyle decided I'm going to use my bottom weight, I'm going to go for it, when do you think I could get there? Look, I always thought I was going to get there, uh, it was just a matter of, of him putting his head down, and uh, yeah, look, he, he likes to get there late and, uh, yeah, just all credit to the horse. He, he's, he's obviously proved us right by bringing him up here and I'm just really grateful to everyone for the opportunities. Good double. Do you have a ride at the back? No, that's me done. Um, just really grateful to, to be here and, uh, yeah, that's it. If you had to look, I know I asked a few of the guys already, but you started off your season so well and then uh, gradually, you know, ups and downs, ups and downs, Keegan. Yeah, look, in this game it's always up and down and uh, I've just got a huge amount of support from Mr. Kenneman and uh, he said from the beginning of the season we're going to have a nice season towards the, towards the end of the year and the, the two-year-olds are stepping out now and um, yeah, that's, that, that's the future. Well, it's been a good season for you, King, and well played. Yeah, look, I'm always grateful for everything I get and yeah, just thanks to everyone for the opportunities. Nice one. Thank you. Lovely. Keegan DeMello here uh, with horse number two, Gimme Peace. 2.15, 16 and 1. One more to go. Coming up next, closing off uh, the place accumulator and pick six and of course uh, as it is with every local race meeting around the country when it comes to the last race it is a bumper quartet to close off our meeting but all that will take place in race number eight <laughs>